Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina, the Side Hustle Queen, coming to you with another DIY video. In today's video, we are going to make tutu socks the elastic way. So let's get right into this video. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I shoot DIY projects as well as cruise tip videos every single week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know what DIY projects I'm working on from week to week, make sure you join my Facebook group, Side Hustle Cream Creation. So some of the stuff you're going to need in order to make these ruffle tutu socks is you're going to need tool. If you've seen my, how I made the ruffle skirt, this is the tool that's left over. I normally don't use this tool to make the ruffle socks to go with it because this is enough tool to make a small another small skirt. So what I usually grab is these, this rule, rolls of tool. Um, I couldn't find the three inch tool this go round. I, they were sold out at Hobby Lobby, so I got the six inch, which is fine. I can make it work. Six inch cut in half still comes out to three inches. So if you can't find the three inch rolls of tool, grab you the six inch, fold them. I'm gonna show y'all how to clip them in half so that they would, so you would still have three inches. You're gonna need two yards of tool. So make sure you roll out your two yards of tool. Of course, you're gonna need the ribbon of your choice. You're gonna, and you're gonna need you some elastic. And of course your sewing machine. We're gonna head over to the sewing machine, the sewing room in a minute. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is, I just got these little clips that I got from the Dollar Tree and that gives, and I fold it in half and I put the clips in sections so that it'll keep me on track when I'm cutting the three inches in half. So you just wanna cut it in half. If you can't find the three inch tool, grab the six inch, fold it in half and cut it. It still works the exact same way. And once you cut it in half, you will have both enough tool for two socks. And again, this video is perfect for beginner sewers. If you never made two two socks before, we're gonna we, I'm gonna show you how to sew the ribbon onto the tool and make you a channel so that you can have the ruffle socks and basically what's going to happen is the sock the ruffles are just going to go right over the socks i really love this method especially when i'm doing ruffle socks for um children because kids you know as mothers we just want our kids to be all pretty and all ruffled up and all laced up but the kids they just want to have fun and they tend to get the socks dirty so with the elastic method um um tutu socks they can actually just remove the the ruffle part of the sock, wash the socks, or even if you want to change the socks to a different color, you can easily wash the socks without actually messing up the ruffle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, split straight in half. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this and then I'm gonna see you guys over in the sewing room. Okay, you guys, we're all set up in the sewing room. I have my tool cut all the way in half, and we're gonna get ready to sew our, our ruffles. So um, I'm doing pink and white ruffle socks. So I got my sewing machine already set up with pink thread. The first ribbon that I'm using is, it's, it's double-sided, so it doesn't really matter which side that you, you turn it on because it's both the same size. Now, if you, you was using a ribbon that had a designer side on it, you the designer side would be face down. But because this ribbon right here is all, it's the same on both sides, we, it doesn't matter. But if you had a designer side, your designer side would be face down. One of the things that you want to do before you actually start um, sewing is you want to make sure that your ribbon on the end so that it won't unravel. Just make sure you seal the end of your ribbon. Now I'm going to adjust my, my guard.
I like to try to sew my to my uh, line close to the edge as possible. You want to lay your tool on top. And you want to start sewing. Remember at the beginning, back stitch the seal and sew your straight line. Again, if you're new to sewing, you don't have to be no speed. Take your time. And what I do to make sure my tool is lining up is I just make sure my tool is lined up with this at the end of this foot right here. So my ribbon is lined up at the end of the guard, the guard and my tool is lined up with the corner of that foot. So that's how I keep it straight. So we're gonna go ahead and sew this all together. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little trick if you start to run out a ribbon. Because what happens is a lot of times I'll make a pair of socks and then one of my customers will see the socks that I made and they want the exact pair, so I just go get ribbon. I don't panic if because I still use whatever leftover ribbon that I already have. Then I open up the new one. So when you come to the end right here, you can use your little bit of fabric glue. Or even if you have uh, maybe some hot glue, or you can, if you got one of the little straight pins, what I do is I just put a little dab, not way the needle going to go through in, but right at the corner right here, just a little dab of fabric glue. I put the new part of the ribbon right on top of it. Hold it for a few seconds, let it dry. You can tell I've been doing it right here. <laughs> let it dry and get right back to sewing. As you can see, we're coming to the end of the first sock. So make sure you backstitch to seal it. And finish on. Okay, everyone, we got the second stock on the sewing machine. And it's the exact same thing that you do with the first one. You set it up on your sewing machine. Start sewing back stitch and sew a straight line. Just in case I didn't tell everybody that this pink ribbon is actually going to be the bottom ribbon on the tutu sock. And I have some white glitter ribbon that's going to be the top. It's all glittery for so we actually sewing the bottom piece of the ribbon first. I changed the angle of my camera so hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. at the end of the second sock bottom ribbon so we want to make sure we go ahead back stitch
and finish it up. Okay, so now it's time for us to put the top. I don't know why. There you go. The top of the the top color on, which is gonna be white. Okay, you guys, now that I have won the fight with the sewing machine, uh, I have re-threaded it to white because we are using, I'm using white glitter ribbon on this one, on the top ribbon. So what you want to do is make sure if you got any print or either polka dots or anything like that, or a shiny side and a dull side, you want to make sure the pretty side is down. So I'm going to turn it over so the glitter part of this ribbon will be down. Next, we're going to set up our tool. So the way you want to set up your tool is you want to make sure that the pretty side that you already sold is, is facing up. So if you sold the first layer, which is the bottom layer with any type of printer, anything you want to make sure it's faced up. If you use a ribbon like this where both sides are the same, you want to make sure the part where you sew that, where you see the tool where you sew that, is face down. That's how you can tell the difference if you have, if your ribbon was the same on both sides. So we're going to do this side just like we did the top side, just like we did the bottom side. We're going to start sewing. We're going to make sure we back stitch. And we're just going to sew a straight line. and finish that and then we're going to do the other one and we're going to come back and do the channel and that's going to be our final process to the two to the two two socks the most efficient and easiest way to do it for beginners okay you guys i'm done sewing the I'm at the end, rather, of sewing the top part of the first tutu sock. And um, I'm coming to the end, so I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I do. So, we're going to finish sewing. I'm going to go ahead and back stitch and seal it. Always seal your socks at the beginning and the end because you don't want them to unravel. I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing this. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna grab my second sock because I still have a lot of this glitter ribbon still on this roll. So instead of trying to take everything off and reset up, I'm just gonna start sewing the second spot sock and then I'll clip it in half once we finish. Just make sure if you do this method, just make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and the end of your first sock, and then you make sure you backstitch at the beginning of this sock. I leave a little bit of room in between so that I can make the cut, and I just start sewing. It picked up the tool right there. I'm gonna go ahead and backstitch. That sealed that, the second sock. And I'm just going to keep going. And that way I didn't have to like pull anything off the sewing machine and all that. I can just keep going. And because it only took me like five minutes to sew the first sock. So it's only going to take me another five minutes to sew the second one. And with, that way I saved a little bit of time. 
once I finish, I'll just snip the ribbon right there, hit it with a little bit of heat, and then we can make our channel. So let's get back to finishing this up so we can make some two, two socks. Okay, we at the end of the second sock. So, gonna hit the back stitch button. And surprisingly, I only had to use one roll of the glitter ribbon. I'm not sure, I might've got it from Joanne's. I'm not sure, because what I do is, when they have ribbon on sale, buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free, buy one, get one half price, I usually grab it and get the neutral colors because they, the regular one, the regular rolls only cost around $3. Those, the glitter rolls, these glitter rolls was $3.99. So I pretty much get them for a dollar or two. And I just get neutral colors to have. So when my customers be calling, I just uh, already have most of the colors that they asking for. So right here, where we went on ahead and combined the two, all you want to do is just snip it right here. Grab your... As we back stitch back there, grab your lighter, make sure you seal your ends of your ribbon so your ribbon won't unravel. And that's it. And you can do it on both sides. Cause I already did that. So as you can see, the white is overlapping the pink. So pink and white glitter socks. So now we're going to sew the channel, just like we did the channel for the ruffle skirt. We're gonna do a channel for the socks, okay? And basically what I'm gonna do is just line the, 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 the folded part of my tool right at the corner of this foot. So, but before I do that, I wanna make sure that my elastic is gonna fit in the middle. So let me go grab my elastic. Okay, you guys, we are back. I have my one fourth inch elastic. So we want to make sure we make a channel that's big enough for the elastic to go through. So I got my guard right there. Plenty of room for my elastic and my channel. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Don't forget the back stitch. And we're gonna sew that straight line. So all we doing is sewing the channel so the elastic can go in. And as y'all can see, you can see the the glitter just overlapping the pink. It's nice and pretty. So these are gonna be a pretty pair of socks. So you wanna show a channel on both of your socks. So let's go ahead and get that done so we can get the elastic into the sock.
we coming to the end of the first tutu sock and this here pink and white glitter is going to be some really pretty socks i can't wait to see them so we're going to go ahead and finish on the channel on this one back stitch So the first sock is done. You can see the pattern, nice pink and white glitter. So we're gonna go ahead and sew the second one. Okay, you guys, we at the end of the second sock, just sewing the channel. And I just wanted to show y'all guys from where we had to connect the ribbon because we ran, ran out. See how it lays right on there? You can barely tell it. So that that's if you're running out of ribbon and you need to add more, don't worry. You're not even gonna be able to tell it's there. And that, especially once we get the get it all ruffled up, you definitely ain't gonna be able to see it at all. Don't forget the back stitch. ready to put some socks together you guys final step final step hope you guys excited i'm really liking this pink and white glitter i'm thinking about doing me a skirt like this here pur the purple and white glitter so but i am noticing that glitter is start i see glitter everywhere so just be careful when you're using glitter glitter will be everywhere but it's nice and pretty so let's head on over back into the dining room let's put the elastic in these socks and let's make us some tutu socks okay you guys it's time to put the socks together as you can see i went ahead and put one sock together for the purpose of the video because you're going to put it put both of them together the exact same way they came out just nice. They they really pretty. So quick, easy way to do tutu socks. So let me show y'all how to do the final steps. Okay, so we got our ribbon that we sewed onto our tool. We have our channel. And any strings that you have hanging over the end, just clip them off. Because don't remember, we backstitch at each end to make sure we seal it. Take your safety pin, put it into your elastic. I usually don't cut the elastic when I do the socks until the very end. It's just a lot easier. Okay. And we're going to just feed it through the channel that we we made. See how the elastic going through the channel. This is a quick and easy way to get the tutu, make tutu socks. Like I said, I really love this method because you can change the socks out, especially like how we made these in pink and white. So even though I send, cause these, these pink and white, I'm actually putting a doll together. So I'm, um, once I made these socks, they were so pretty, I'm going to make the skirt to match for this doll. So go home in. But if the parent or the child who 
you know, the parent who buy a tutu skirt set from you, they can, if they don't want to wear white socks with the, the, um, the ruffles, they can change them to pink. So it's because they, it's not attached to the sock. You can actually just take the sock off, wash it, change it to a different color. As y'all can see, as we put it on, it's getting ruffly. As a beginner, 30, 45 minutes top, you can have a pair of these um, ruffle socks. And we came out the other end, just like that. So what I do next is, So I straighten up my rope. Make me a little circle. And remember, these are going on ankles, so you don't want them to be too tight. I usually just do the little hand, make sure it stretches out. It can stretch out if it, because especially if it's going. My socks, I don't. I mean, my dogs, I don't too much worry about because they're not gonna complain. But for kids, you want to make sure it stretch and you got enough room for it to stretch out, so they won't be complaining about it. it's too tight. So I really like this stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead. And clip my elastic right here. Then I'm gonna grab a side that has the safety pin. Take the safety pin out. I guess it don't wanna come out. I just push the tool down because you can once you I sew these because of the elastic so small I just overlap it and I just go to work stitching especially if you stitch in these going to a child you could put it on the sewing machine and back stitch back and forth but it's just a lot easier if you just grab your needle and thread because this elastic is so small. And I just sew it in a square, back and forth. I sew it all the way around. The area that I overlapped, I sew it all the way around, over and over again. I never had no problem with somebody calling me and saying that the ruffles came or loose, anything like that. Because I, a lot, I sew a lot. I don't just do two or three stitches. Sometimes I sew so much if you start seeing that it's hard for the needle to get through, that means you done really sold that little square. And I'm, like I said, I made the square when I overlap. Just a basic stitch. If you want to do it on the sewing machine, just do your um, zigzag. I didn't clip the string off the end. Make sure before you put your socks together that you clip the extra strain that's hanging off from where you sold your ribbon with the sewing machine so it won't get in the way.
I just want to show you guys. I sew it a lot to make sure that it don't come loose. I sew it and I close it throughout the whole stitch. Okay, so just make sure you sew that as much as you want. If you guys can see it, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I sewed it really good right now. And I usually, if this was going to one of my customers' kids or child, I usually sew even more than this. But because I know that this is pretty much going on a doll, I'm going to go ahead and clip it now. I would have sewed all the thread. Just kept going round and round and round and round. So once you get that, your elastic sew, you want to clip that off. And straighten your ruffles out. Because what happens is when I'm sewing, I push them together. The two ends that you want to connect them together. So you can either use hot glue or your little trusted fabric glue. Just a dab, you don't need a lot. A dab right there. And close those two pieces together. And then I dab the other side to close those two pieces together. And then I do one more dial to put to go ahead and just all of them be closed together. Like I say, some hot glue or do the same trick if you got the hot glue gun. Then I hold it together for a few seconds. I don't take fabric glue that long. You can buy this big bottle. I done had this bottle for like maybe three or four months and I, you, it's barely even used. I think I got it with a coupon at Michael's when they 50% off coupons. So if you're going to be doing a lot of tutu skirts and socks or any type, using any type of fabric, you might want to just grab you one of those bottles. It lasts a while. So I'm just straightening out my ruffle. And we're going to get it onto the foot. And if you use the glitter, the glitter ribbon, be prepared. Glitter is everywhere. I'm trying to tell y'all, glitter is everywhere. So there you have it. And you can always just straighten it how you want to straighten it. But there you have it. We just made some pretty ruffles, tutu socks. Aren't those cute? Aren't those nice, simple, and easy? Beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on the most simple and easiest way to make tutu socks. I hope you guys got a chance to watch my video on how to make the skirt. There we go. These socks are nice. They're pretty. You can make them yourself. You no longer have to pay anyone to do them. You also can sell them to friends, family, or different people. You can put them on eBay, Etsy, and sell them um, to people who don't have a sewing machine. So I hope this side hustle is beneficial for you guys. Thank y'all for watching another one of my videos. And if nobody, and believe in yourself when nobody else does. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.